true. I live my life with you. Love is give and take. Forgive my mistakes. I faith and patience will give love a chance. I will never. Association, and we are meeting the governor by 12 noon. How much more important could this appointment be? Fine. The time now is 9 30. We can finish my own meeting by 10 30 and we'll go and see the governor, even the president, and have a meeting. We are having our own meeting first before meeting the governor. I'm sorry I'm not going anywhere with you. Come, Cecilia, when will you learn to listen to me in this house? Where you learn how to consult me before booking an appointment for both of us. You are becoming impossible, you know. Yes. <laughs> But you're not new to Lagos traffic, are you? Oh, Daddy, you know after being in Port Harcourt for three years, I'm no longer used to the Lagos traffic. <laughs> anyway, this is the good news. Yes. I finally effected my transfer back to Lagos. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Even though my regional manager was, a, was an obstacle, I overcame. Cool. That's my daughter. Lioness like her mother. <laughs> Oh, oh you have to be in Lagos to help in the planning for your wedding. Oh, right? yes, yes. Eric calls me every minute asking me about this, about that. But That's what it's supposed to be. Men are poor planners. And they always turn around to put blames on their wives. I think it's the other way around. Even though women claim to be the, the, the best planners in the whole world. Okay, okay, okay. Don't bother me with your little love quarrels. I didn't come all the way from Potako to listen to you quarrel. Please, don't start. Can we go inside? I miss you. I never see anybody. Hello, Austin. Man, I'm just at home. I've been expecting Anita. She's she was supposed to come in with um, the morning flight, but up to now I've not seen her. Uh, I'll keep you posted, okay? All right. Thanks, huh? Okay. I'm going to go there. Okay, it's all right. Oh. Thank you. 
Hi. 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 How are you doing? I'm fine. I was at the airport to pick you up, but you were nowhere to be found. Well, I didn't see your car at the airport when we landed, so I took a taxi straight to see my parents. But you should have called to tell me you had changed your plans. But you should have called to find out about the lady you're planning to wed very soon. I did. I called you severally, severally, severally. But there was no response from your phone. Sure? Yep. It's been on vibration and inside my bag. You see, I tell you all the time that your usage of cell phone is very poor. You see, it's called a mobile, a handset, handset. Okay, it should be something handy in case you need to. Eric, Eric, please. I didn't come all the way from Potaka to listen to a lecture on cell phone. Okay, please. Okay. Won't you ask me into your house? Oh, of course. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Mm. Well, well, it was fine. Thank God there was no incident in this area of plain mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thank God. Now, take a look at this. Mm. Mm. You think you have this already? Yes. And that one too? Mm. And this? But I'm so impressed. Thank you. But I'm fagged up. I'm sorry, you have to do this all by yourself. My dear. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that reminds me. We need to see the Reverend Father as soon as possible. Reverend Father? Yes. Uh, he said he'd like to see you uh, immediately you get back. You know, I've been attending the marriage course all along. Now that you're here, we can go together and do our thing. Um, um, sweetheart, I've been in touch with my own pastor and he has assured me that we can wed in a month. I mean, rather than go through the lengthy marriage process. But Tali, listen, we're having a Catholic wedding, remember? Eric, I don't remember I was ever discussing that. But I've mentioned it to you virtually all our phone conversations. I am not a Catholic and I will not wed in a Catholic. What is wrong with the Catholic Church? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with the Catholic Church. I didn't say that. All I'm saying is, I have my own church where I'm a strong choir member, and that is where I'd like to wed. But this whole church matter was discussed when we came to pay your bride price, what? and your family acceded to it. Maybe, yeah, maybe they, they, they considered to it, but I was not there. Nobody would dictate to me how to worship my God. Not my parents, and not you. Me, Anita, will not wait in a Catholic church. Never. Never. <laughs> okay. Let's not go there. Okay? Let's not just go there because I have unprintable things to say about your so-called Pentecostal churches. Maybe the impression you have are just misconceptions. Look, that one or two Pentecostal churches preach the wrong messages does not mean my own church preaches the wrong message or makes my church bad. Let's just drop this. Hey, better, let's drop it. Let's not talk about it again. There, you know me. <laughs> Any printer tries that with me, I will skin him alive. Anyway, my printer makes me so well right. It will only take a madman to try a tough combination like Eric, who is a tough lawyer, and even a tougher wife like Anita. Well, yeah, I mean, you know that. I don't like it when people have the impression that I'm some kind of Margaret Thatcher. I'm just myself, you know, I just don't take rubbish. I know 
that we all know that you're a tough person. Eh? Leave this thing now. Anyway, me, I think um, you and Eric are a perfect match. Um, how did they meet? All right. I'll tell you. They met in Port Harcourt in a wedding. Eric was the best man. And my friend here, the maid of honor. So they fell for each other and Eric proposed. Anita accepted right there on the spot. I broke up. Hey, I can't hey, hey, hey. 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 Just me more, 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 more. Two Look. months later, hey. Eric paid her right price. Really? And they didn't want to have a traditional wedding, so here we are today preparing for the main thing. Isn't she lucky? Excuse me? Yes. You mean, isn't he lucky? Uh, they are both lucky to have each other. How about that? <laughs> I believe happily ever after. <laughs> you <I> you? <laughs> when are you shopping for your wedding gown? You know we don't have any time left. As a matter of fact, I'm leaving for London very soon. Eric, my husband to be, knows that I will not wear anything local or cheap in my body on my wedding day. Everything on this body on that day has to be international, foreign, <laughs> precisely, from head to toe. That was my aunt. I was just telling her that um, I'll be coming into London any minute from now and the entire trip will not be more than three days. Really? Yeah. I, I, I was wondering if I could buy your suit in London, you know, to make it easier. And um, I've been doing some calculations. I think everything roughly is going to come up to... 800,000 naira. That includes my, my wedding dress, your suits, your crown, and other little necessary things. <clears throat> Sweetheart, <sighs> frankly speaking, I, I don't understand this idea of traveling to London to buy just a um, wedding gown or wedding suits and stuff like that. What is wrong with that? All my friends that got married recently shopped abroad for their wedding. Yeah, it must have been convenient for them. Look, if you ask me, what we need to do is, we need to try and tidy up um, all the loose ends, all the scattered arrangements here and there, instead of jetting off to London or wherever. That is why I just want to go and come back as fast as I can. Darling, my wedding dress is equally as important as the wedding itself. You know what? Why don't you just walk into one of these bridal shops tomorrow and buy yourself a wedding gown? That way you save yourself time and money. Wait, wait. If I'm not mistaken, you're telling me not to shop abroad for my wedding dress. Precisely. You know, the problem with this country is we don't value our own, you know. We, we believe it's only when we travel overseas that... Stop! It's okay. You made your point. Save your lecture for another day. I have something I'm cooking in the kitchen. Good. Good night, made in Nigeria. That are you too. <laughs> you people will surely live long. Your father and I were just discussing about you before your arrival. Really? Yes. Of course. <laughs> no, we, we were wondering if the wedding had been postponed. Oh, never, Dad. <laughs> never. 
In fact, since Anita came back, we've made considerable progress. That is exactly what we want to hear. Oh, come on, Mom. You know me. You know, when I set my mind on a thing, I see it through to a logical conclusion, no matter the odds. Oh, yeah. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, we actually came to visit you and Mom. And Anita's been crying. She's been wanting to see you. Exactly. Okay, here you are. Here they are. Eat them up. <laughs> you know. And also to rub minds with you. Um, as regards preparations for the wedding. That's good, that's good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I expected this visit much earlier than now. Um, we're so sorry, sir. I've been very busy running around to effect my transfer back to Lagos. Okay. But thank God everything has been taken care of now. Oh, that's great. But I expected Eric to have briefed you on all the arrangements and all the developments. You don't know my dad. You see, as a retired judge, my father believes in evidence on ground. And that is your physical presence. <laughs> so, uh, are the cards ready now? No, Dad. Uh, but they will be in a few days' time. Okay, fine. Okay. That's okay by me. My daughter, let's go and fix some drinks for our husbands before we continue with our discussion. <laughs> yes, fix it well. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No, 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 no. Um, listen, Clara, my wife and I have sorted this thing out, okay? Yes, sir, but, well, you know, with the kind of clothing I bring in, I mean, how... Hey, hey listen, we... I hope you're not the one who's getting her into traveling to London. No, sir, I'm only trying to... Look, if you want to help her, then take her to one of the big shops in town and get her a wedding dress. Thank you. Anita, this wasn't the impression you gave to me. No, 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 um, Claire, I'm so sorry, okay? Honestly, I'm so sorry for this embarrassment. You know what, why don't you just go and talk to me? Please, please, please. Sorry, my dear, I should be on my way now. You see, I have some other things to attend to. Claire, we're not even finished discussing what you came here for. Yes, I know. We'll talk about that later, okay? Just be yourself. Bye, guys. Anita, it's all right, okay? Just take it easy. Yeah. All right? Yeah. 
Um, Jill, I want to be left alone, okay? So let me, let me go and talk to of you. Of course, I understand. Okay. Alright, it's okay. I'll call you. No, no, no problem. You just, just have to take it easy. <laughs> Why did you embarrass me like that in public? Me? Embarrass you? How? Why did you talk to me like that in the presence of my friends? But you should have talked to me in private. Besides, my decision on this matter is final. What decision are you talking about? Eric, look. I decide. The kind of wedding gown I wear on my wedding day, you don't decide for me. Yes, I agree with you. But I decide on that which will not drain my pocket. You see, it doesn't make any sense traveling to England to buy something you can get easily here. Cheaper too. Why are you trying to frustrate this once-in-a-lifetime occasion for me, Eric? Why are you so hell-bent on frustrating me? Okay. Let's talk about this. What's your vision for this wedding? I'm listening. When you first met me, I don't think I particularly looked like a bush girl, did I? No. Good. I know my taste, Eric. And my wedding has to measure up to my taste. My wedding has to be glamorous. My wedding has to be top of the range. I don't think I deserve anything less. Don't you think? Yes, yes, I agree with you. You don't deserve anything less. But my dear, I am more concerned with our lives after the wedding. You see, wedding is not an investment. No matter how glamorous, no matter how top of the range, no matter how grandiose, whatever you spend ends on that day. See, my dear, I have my own ideas and principles of doing things. And if you take time to study me, you'll learn one or two things. Really? Yes. We'll see about that. Think about it. Let's go inside. I'm not going into that shop, Eric. You go inside, get a wedding gown, and let's go. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. You know, I can't choose your wedding gown for you. But you want to dictate to me what to wear on my wedding day and what not to wear, right? So go in there, buy the gown of your choice, and let us go. I am not entering that shop. Listen, I'm not trying to dictate what you should wear, all right? From what I heard, this is about the best in Nigeria. So let's just go in there and buy one. Besides, we're in public now. I don't want us to make a scene here. You think you can take a horse to the river and force it to drink? Huh? Okay. I'm sorry. So sorry for forcing this horse to the river. Did you just call me a horse? Eric, are you calling me a horse? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How would I call my darling a horse? Come on. Can we just try it out? Look, you will be pleasantly surprised. Look, you're going to love it in there. I'm not going to love it. Okay, all right. Just, at least, give it a shot. Please. Thank you. See, I told you. Can you look at it? This is Europe in Nigeria. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Just... Oh, 
Awesome. Thank you. This is gorgeous. Honey, let's look at this. What do you think? I don't like it. Oh, come on, honey, look. This is, this is gorgeous. I said I don't like it. Well, this will just bring out your beautiful curves. Look, this is just awesome. Wow. Uh, do you people have other designs here? Of course, sir. Uh, we, we, uh, we have varieties. You can actually make your choice here. We'll bring in our materials from all over the world, from the best of designers. See what I said? Please show us around. Okay. Thank you. It's cold. That's what I told you. This place is all just beautiful. on you. Look, you just... Hey, I'll appreciate it if you stay out of this, okay? It's okay, it's okay. Just take your time and make Don't your choice. tell me what to do. It's okay, it's okay. You're welcome all the same. All right. You're welcome, sir. All right. Honey, believe me, this is lovely. It's your favorite design. Of course, I know you love Italian design. It's your choice, isn't it? So buy it. No, honey, it's not mine. Just take a closer look. Why don't you come inside? No, please, please, just leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. There's no quarrel over this matter. I told you my cousin is into catering services and I believe she can handle our wedding. I told you I had a caterer already. But you just chose to do it your own way. I'm not doing it my way. The difference between your choir member and my cousin is a lot of money. What can I afford it? Throw away money when we have a cheaper option. Eric, your cousin is not a professional. I don't want to mess my wedding up just because you want to save some money or the person is your relation. Oh, God. Okay. I'll give your friend a chance. Okay? You call her up tomorrow and um, let's talk. If our conditions are right, we'll give her the job. Is that fair enough? Come, my dear. Listen, it's going to be all right, okay? Let's go inside. Like I said, you call your friend. 
if she's good enough, um, we'll give her the job. Okay? You know, I will never hurt you. I'll do anything for you. As we agreed. Okay, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Now, I'd like to say, um, if she accepts 150,000 naira, no problem. I understand your wedding is going to be a very big one, sir. And a lot of society people in attendance. So, I think 350,000 would just be okay for you. What? I'm not cooking for the entire tsunami victims for crying out loud. It's just a mere wedding. Sir, so you understand that the cost of things in the market have gone so high. That's why we ought to be prudent. Economical. Okay. Because of my wife, I'm going to move up. 200,000 naira. Take it or leave it. No, sir, please. Let's make it 250. Listen, I'm not here to haggle prices with you. Okay? Okay, I'll do it. For me? Are you sure you can copy that? I'll do anything to make your wedding a success. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you know I like your spirit. Oh. Please don't mess with my wedding, okay? You know I'm a lawyer. You know what that means? I understand, sir. I'll do everything possible to make your wedding a success. I promise. <laughs> Good. I like you. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Eric. Eric. Why? Why do you always like to embarrass me? <sighs> what have I done again? Why do you keep giving people the impression that we are hands tied in organizing this wedding? As if we're being forced to do it. Listen, I don't understand the word of what you're saying. The money you're offering for the catering is too small. She only agreed to collect it out of fear, and now she's complaining. <laughs> I didn't hear her complain. Listen, Anita, we must be meticulous and realistic about our situation, about this wedding. We can't afford to be extravagant. Don't be egoistic, Eric. Look, if your parents are not willing, mine are. Mine are willing to help financially if the need arises. Stop it, Anita. That's an insult on me, an insult on my person. Now you listen, I can handle my own wedding. And believe me, when I say I can, I can. Then do the things you're supposed to do and do them well. That's, That's what I'm doing. If you must know, throwing away money is not one of my biggest talents. Don't be sarcastic. I am not extravagant, Eric. I'm only trying to avoid us being pennywise and pound foolish. There won't be anything like that. Look, I'm inside. Eric! What's the problem, Anita? When was the last time we made love? Eric, if we haven't made love in a long time, it's your fault. The last time we were supposed to make love, you said you were having a headache, right? So now, me too, I have a headache. Oh, come on, Anita, you don't have to retaliate, huh? I was sick on that day. I want to see the doctor the next day, remember? Well, I had a hectic day today at the office, and I have a headache. Yeah, anyway, Shiwaga, you stop it. 
Oh, where is she welcome? Yes. Eric, oh, where is she welcome? Oh, so you don't care how I feel. All you're interested in is to assuage your urge, right? Why am I even discussing this with you? Why, why am I even discussing this issue with you? I feel stupid and I don't like it. Neither do I like your accusations, okay? Yes, that makes two. Whatever. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Be a brilliant gigawa. Good night. You will never know that. Last time you gave me a check, they kept me for so long, waiting for their so-called confirmation. My dear, banks are supposed to be thorough before paying our cash. Even to the wife of a client. You really chose your kind of bank, didn't you? Okay. Don't worry, this time around, there'll be no problem because I have this check confirmed, okay? Hello. Hello, so you are now reluctant to pick the phone, eh? Eric, me. Me, Messi. So it's me you're treating like this. You shameless man. So in spite of all my warnings, you're still going on with the wedding plans, right? It can never work out. Never. Not when I'm still alive. After ruining my life, you think you, you can dump me to marry someone else? <laughs> it can never work out. See, if I don't pour acid on you and that girl, then you call me a bastard. And I mean every word of it. Yes. <laughs> You're not saying anything, right? You're not saying anything. Hello? 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 wasn't going to work, yet you decided to take a plunge with my life, right? Look, what's going on? What are you talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? Yes. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. A certain lady you disappointed, or you ruined her life, just called, threatening to kill me, bath me with acid, if you carry on with the wedding. And you stand here acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. You're really a scoundrel, aren't you? Look, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I hear you say you answered my call? You answered my call, Anita. You answered my call? For what? When did this start? You answered my phone call. Did I authorize you to answer my call? Have I ever answered your call? Look, there's nothing I won't say. Anita, you answered my phone call. Now listen, whatever you heard, from that illegal transaction is null and void and has no effect whatsoever as far as I'm concerned. You know, you ought to mind your own business. Do you understand that? Don't ever check my text messages or take my phone calls because I will not do that to you. You know something? Let's learn to respect each other in this relationship. I should check.
Why did you have to use such idiotic language? Who are you going to kill? Who are you going to pour acid on? Me? Me? Did I ever promise to marry you? Did I ever promise to marry you, Mercy? Do you know the kind of damage you're causing my family with such Look, 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 look. See, you're just speaking grammar. <laughs> Eric, you know that by now I should have had a child I call mine. But you made me about it. And, and you think I'll be happy about that? Yes. You ought to be happy with me. Because you will have had a bastard by now. What? What do you mean? You think I, I didn't know your series of boyfriends? I knew about Kunle. I knew about uh, Mohammed. What about David? The one that works at NMPC. So, 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 so this is what you want to turn the whole this thing exactly into? exactly the way it is. I've had enough of you. Enough of your blackmails. Listen, this should be the last time you're going to call my phone again, demanding for money. I've paid you enough. Listen, let me just give you a piece of advice. Get a life. Get a job. Even if it's a receptionist, it's better than gallivanting here and there looking for people to extort money from. Don't ever call my phone again. Go, Eric. Go. But we shall see. Anita, I still put it to you that you do not have the local standing to pick my calls or query me over anything you heard. Look, you can say whatever jackals you want to say. I will not risk my life for a man who is insensitive. <laughs> but he's asking you to risk your life. You're just exaggerating this whole thing to, to favor you. Eric, I'm exaggerating. The lady said she will bath me with acid if I marry you. So that is not a threat to my life? Eric, you're a lawyer. Think. Look, that is not the point. The issue here is, you gotta understand, uh, 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 that what this girl... Listen to this. Please. I will not continue this blind argument with you. I did not pick your call out of curiosity. I just wanted to help. If you do not tell me what it is between you and that girl, forget about me. I will pack my things and go to my father's house first thing in the morning and I will tell everybody why I left you. I am... Um... And Mercy, Mercy is a girl I used to know. We were just friends. But at the point, the girl wanted more. She suggested that we get married, you know. But I refused. Why? Because it wasn't part of the initial plan. She's not of my class. I couldn't have married her. Really? But you can sleep with her and make her life miserable. Hey, listen, you don't have to taunt me with this, okay? We all have things in the past. Besides, if you hadn't picked that call, I would have taken care of her and you would have known about anything. <clears throat> so, how do you intend to stop her from killing me if I marry you? This is my dear. Here's the girl's number. You can call her to find out. She will never bother us again. I will never put you in harm's way.
Yes, come here with the... Hey, hey, Austin. <laughs> hey, there you go, man. Yeah. You are fine. Fine. So, here are the cards. Man, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> this is the ball. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the layout. I mean, Eric, man. with the best design. No wonder you're smiling like you just won a lottery. And much more. <laughs> We've got to start sharing this card fast. You know, we don't have much time left. Ah, you're right. I, um, it's just that Anita has not seen these cards. They just brought them not too long ago. Oh. Hmm. Well, in that case, why I come tomorrow then? Just a moment, just a moment. Let's start. I mean, I would love this yes, card. Yes, we beautiful card. Beautiful in beautiful that card. case, now you take this. Share this card. All right? Yeah. Now I got a lot more in my car, and um, we got to share this card to as many people as possible. No, okay? There's no problem about that. Distribution, just trust I me. Need, I'm going to drop off some um, at my parents' place. Okay. Okay? I should be on my way also. Hey, come on. Let's Together. Man, we're gonna paint the town red. <laughs> Listen, this is me, Eric. Eric, you understand? Eric the bomb, the, the best bomb. card designer. Man, look, all the best legal luminary will be there. No, you no, know how, you know how I do it. <laughs> What's if the best is good enough for me? Is there any problem? How can you do this type of thing? Do what? There's nothing wrong with the card. There's nothing wrong with the card? Sure. Why did you write your family name first before mine? And why did you put your name first before my name? Listen, it doesn't matter whose name comes first. Of course it matters! Traditionally, the woman's name comes first. You're a lawyer, you should know that. It doesn't matter. Things like that don't bother me, okay? You don't bother about anything that has to do with me, Eric. Anyway, something has to be done about these cards. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do because I've already started sharing the cards. I gave 300 copies to Austin. I gave 100 copies to my parents. What? Eric. God. How, how can outsiders see my wedding cards before I see them? Who are outsiders? Who are outsiders? Austin and my parents. Tell me. Who? Listen, let's just be thankful that the cards are out. We don't have any time. We're running behind schedule. Wait, all these frivolous complaints, they don't make no sense. Okay? Eric, my complaints are frivolous. Selfish and very insensitive. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that when I've had to walk off my butt trying to do things in your absence? All you do is just complain and complain. Are you ever grateful? I will not be grateful. Eric, I will not be grateful because you capitalized on my absence to tilt everything in your favor. I can see we're going to have a running battle over this wedding and I'm prepared for the battle. Yes, ready yes. for it. Indeed, we're going to have a running battle. Can I ever win with you? Damn it. This is just a nightmare. My dear, are you saying that you did not bring the invitation cards just because of minor mistake from the printer? You seem only interested in Eric dragging my daughter to the altar. Look, I will not allow him to humiliate us. Those cards must be reprinted. Period. Yes. But it's just the misplacement of names. Eh? Do you know how long it's going to take them to get those cards reprinted? How much more time do we have? Daddy, Eric likes to take me for granted. Yes! 
He just, he just takes his decisions to do anything without consulting me first. Huh? That is very wrong. You are his wife. That means both of you have equal right over everything. Your father here does it without consulting me. Or else it will not work out. Well, my daughter, go and get our own cards so that we can share them before it's late. But if you choose to listen to your mother, that's up to you. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> All right, take it now. That was Dr. Martins. He decided to be our uh, sponsor. And I forgot to tell you, Father called to say that he's making arrangements to get us chairman for the wedding occasion. You know, everything is just falling into place. No, yeah, but that's not right. How can only you provide both the sponsor and the chairman? I mean, for the sake of fairness and equity, I think maybe you should provide the sponsor and I should provide the chairman. <laughs> Ah, it's funny here you talk about fairness and equity to a lawyer. What do you know about such times? What do you mean, what do I know about those times? Wait, who, who, who even told you that lawyers have a monopoly of knowledge? Oh, my dear, don't go there. <laughs> yes, because actually the only learned people are lawyers. The rest of you are just merely educated. Excuse me? Balderdash. Rubbish. Look, let me tell you. They just deceive you lawyers with those bogus terms, make you feel on top of the world or whatever. I have some friends who are lawyers. They can't stand me in any discussion or any argument. Some of them can't even make simple, correct sentences. <laughs> of course that's not possible. That's not possible. My dear, only the brightest of the bright. What did I say? Brightest of the bright. Get admission to read law. Like some courses. Some courses which are just dumping ground for blockheads. Mm -mm. Hey, please, it's okay. It's all right. Let's just end this discussion. I will not have you insult my discipline. Okay? I am a sociologist and I'm proud and happy to be a sociologist. I know about people's behavior, I know about their mannerisms, I know about their attitude much more than you can ever imagine as a lawyer. That is why I'm personal manager of my company. Now on my foot. Something, something, something missing in this wedding arrangement. Oh. Dear, you won't blame me. I mean, how many things do I think of? I'm thinking of Ketra. I'm thinking of church. Ah, come on now. It's true. Anita, it's true. Do you know I pity you? I mean, your in-laws are there, your friends, the church. I was wondering. I was wondering you never even mentioned who is going to be your maid of honor. Oh, all oh, that. Uh, it's not like I forgot, but... There's, there's no but there, Anita, see. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to make me your maid of honor. Anita, please, you know we've come a long way. Uh, you, uh, thank you, I mean, it's really, really nice of you to volunteer. But, uh, Anita, there's no but now, eh? There's no but, see. I will do anything. To have an opportunity chance with your husband's best man. I mean, there's no better opportunity than to be your maid of honor. Yeah? I need to remember how I feel. I told you how I feel about Austin. I need to please now. We've come a long way. Um, <clears throat> look, it's 
I, I have to think about it seriously. I mean, all of you are close to me. And you've all been very helpful. It's, it's a difficult choice. Let us see. I'm the one making this request here. Or don't you want me to hook my own man? Why don't you this to have? Come on now, don't you? Of course I want you to hook your own man. Okay, look. Let me just think about it. No? Then I think first. Yeah, I'll think about think it. Think first. Too. You know you don't have time. I'll now. think about yeah. it. You know, you know, so I can stop preparing now. You know now. Uh, ah, you know now. I know. I'll put my gun for fire. Yeah, now. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's offering me 20,000 naira for what I told you about. And I told him 500,000 naira or nothing. You're a thief. You go home, money. Check me now. Check me. Check me. Doctor, is she getting better? Don't worry, she'll be all right. It's just fatigue. You know, we've been in the market all day. Yes, I can see that. But she'll be discharged in the next couple of hours. Just let her rest, okay? Thank you so much, Doctor. Right. No, make sure the drip is running normal, okay? All right, right Doctor. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I'll be there shortly, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Jesus. Thank God I met you, Barrister. Yes, what's My that? father wants your attention immediately. Why? What's the matter? A tenant fell down from our new house at two later and died. And the police came and arrested my father. <sighs> Look, why? Why your father? The man called my father yesterday, so now the wife is claiming that my father has a hand in his death. That's rubbish. Uh, in which police station is your father held? My deep police station, sir. Listen, young girl, um, it's a very bad situation. My wife is expecting me in the hospital right now. 
Listen, I'll see your dad later on. Okay? Please, Marisa, please. You know my father's medical condition. He needs his medication every four hours. And you know today is Friday. If we don't get him out, he'll be dead till Monday. Please, please, I don't want him to die there. Do something. My wife is in the hospital. My wife is expecting me at this moment. Please, sir, please don't let him die. Please, please, please. Just have to do something. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Stand up, stand up. No, um, okay, okay, let's, let's, let's just go, okay? don't have to make a big deal out of everything. Eric, I collapsed while running around for a wedding and you think it's not a big deal? You wicked. Come on, just stop it. You're getting on my nerves. Enough of this nagging. Look, do you know how many cases I have, I have lost because of this, this wedding? Don't worry. You will not lose any more clients because I am no longer interested in this wedding. threaten me. Did you hear me? Because I don't like stuff like that. I don't want no threats. Okay? I said I'm sorry and that's it. Problem, Anita. What's wrong? I smell something. Maybe Simon has jilted her. 
Which church is your wedding taking place? What sort of question is that? At our church, of course. Which church is our church? Our church? It's our church. What are what you getting at? Your invitation card here says that you are wedding in the Catholic Church. What? Catholic Church, of course. Don't tell me you're not aware. Look I hope it's not one of your jokes, you mean. Is this the card I gave to both of you? The same of card you gave to everybody. Wait, don't tell me you didn't go through your wedding card before sharing it. I dis... Oh, God. Eric and I both agreed to wed in my church. Eric. You know, I was so stupid and I was sharing this whole card to everybody in church. I didn't even bother to look through because I thought everything was right. Until the pastor called my attention to it. In fact, he says he's not going to be in the wedding because he told the whole church a big lie. Wait. I can't believe I didn't notice this. Well, I'm surprised you of all people didn't go through your wedding cards before sharing it. I was too upset about the placement of our names that I didn't even bother giving the card a second look. This is serious. Anyway, all the same, just put yourself together. Okay? It doesn't matter which church you wed. Okay? Just try and put yourself together. Anita, I think you should just stop crying over spilled milk. You'll just go ahead and wed in the Catholic church. It doesn't really make any difference, does it? You don't have to do this. Give me the key. You don't have to do this. You never really wanted this marriage in the first place, Eric, did you? Eric, you're treacherous and wicked. All this while you planned to wed me in the Catholic Church and you watched me waste my time and energy making arrangements in my church. No, I look like a bloody fool in front of my church members. Eric, you're wicked. Eric, you're I wicked. have tried to talk to you all night. I've tried to persuade you, but you won't listen. What else you want me to tell you? This cat has been, they've been out for over, over, over a week. So what? Look, 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 look. I'm tired, okay? I've had it up to here. I'm sick and tired of this nightmare. It is over. Anita, I don't think it's a wife's decision. Why is it? Not why is it? I have made up my mind. I am leaving you, Eric. Give me the key. Eric, give me the key. Look, who, who the hell do you think you are? Okay, sit key. yourself. Look, since you came back, it's been one quarrel after the other. You know what? This marriage will not work. This wedding is hereby cancelled. <laughs> Too late. I cancelled it before you did. Think about it. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, right. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Oh, just Spend go ahead. Rest of your life alone. Oh, yes, I'd rather be alone than be with someone like you. Why oh, you make a very lousy wife? Just, just. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ayuba! Open this gate for, for this lunatic.
Oh. Eh? Why are you not saying anything concerning Anita and Erica Fair? Like what? I, I mean, how come she's not telling us anything? Instead, she went hiding in her father's house, claiming she walked out on him. Hi. But I think she actually walked out on him. Hmm, story. Yeah. Actually worked out on him. In this period of husband scarcity. A woman will walk out on him. Who do? Like that. I don't think so. It's Anita we're talking about here. And so what? So what? She a goddess. Huh. We're not talking about goddess or no goddess. All I know is Anita is just so cute. Cute my foot. Hmm? And listen, let me tell you, you better learn from experience because that's what's going to happen to you if you force yourself on a man. Excuse me, what are you insinuating? Now listen, I don't know who is to force herself it's on It's obvious, who. it's obvious Anita forced herself on Eric, it's obvious. I think we better end this discussion here and right now because it's written all over you that you're just jealous. Yes. Clara, me, would you? Jealous of who Anita? Yeah. Don't blame you. Come, let me tell you. Do you know how many men approach me for marriage every day? Do you? Please. Don't blame me. Now listen, if this is why you came here, I think it's safe and better for us. Of course, better. I will leave. If you don't mind. Clara, I will leave. Please, I will leave. Out. Who would want to ride in this thing you call a car? I don't blame you. Of course, Look I have you. I don't blame you. Look at this Rubbish. thing. Do you even have one? Rubbish. Look at her. Oh God, can you imagine? Oh, goodness me, you're supposed to be a friend to Anita and you're here. Oh, God. What is this thing about girls biting, gossiping here and... Oh, Jesus, I can't take this. My good God. What's the meaning? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, Eric, you sure you're not mistaken? No, 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 Austin, don't tell me anything. You can still work different. Don't tell me anything, Austin. I didn't make no mistakes. You can't imagine what I went through in the hands of that, that shrimp called, called Anita. Nightmare! From the way you're talking, it's like your mind is made up already. Sealed is the word. My mind is sealed! You see, I was like a man in a cage with a tigress. You can't imagine what Anita is like. Forget all that pretty face. She's nothing you want to be near. Look, let me tell you, Anita is just, I can't even find words to describe how, how lousy she is. You mean Eric, the wedding, the preparation and everything? Look, every, no way, everything is off. Wedding, relationship, courtship, whatever you want to call it, it's off. Why am I even discussing this? Look, are you ready for lunch? Well, you're ready, let's go. Please, let's go, let's go. Look, talking about this is like wasting my time and energy. Please, my daughter, you have to go back. It's too late to stop this wedding. Please, baby. Mommy, I've already told you I am no longer interested in the wedding. And neither is Eric. At least this is the first time that both of us agree on something, so it's fantastic. Now, what do you want me to tell my friends, even my enemies, that my only daughter ran away from her husband's house a few weeks to the wedding? Mommy, you can tell them whatever you want to tell them. I wasn't going into this marriage because of your friends or your enemies or whatever. I was going into it because I, I fell in love with Eric at first sight, but he's shown me he doesn't deserve me, so... I understand he's a difficult man. Betty, he loves you. Please. Mommy, please! Please, a man in love will not abandon his unconscious wife at the hospital to run after some personal interests. But decisions like this are not taken in a, in a haste. I want you to think over it more carefully while I prepare something for you to eat. Okay? You cannot stay all day without food. Please. Eh? Oh, Yes, who's there? 
Like someone from Fatney Room. Huh. <laughs> Please don't tease me. You abandoned me all through the semester in the name of wedding preparation. <laughs> wedding preparations. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you spend the entire house with me because I really need good company now. <laughs> Please don't flatter me. How can I be a good company? when you have a brand new angel in the house. Anyway, where's our wife? Where is she now? Um, she left. To so where? Look, forget about Anita, okay? Just go inside and freshen up, okay? Go inside and freshen up, all right? But that, is there a problem? As I said, go inside and freshen up. When you come, we'll talk about it. Just go ahead. Okay. Oh. I'll join you later. Ah, okay, great. You don't deserve the kind of treatment that Eric has meted out to you. But my dear, you have to be strong. That is what marriage entails. Okay? Anita, you can't abandon your wedding just like that. Eh? You and Eric have put in too much into it already. Eh? I mean, it's too late for you to walk away. Exactly. So Eric sent both of you to come and tell me this, right? I'm sure he bribed you. Now listen. Go back and reform the money. Tell him that me, Anita, will not return to that selfish and egocentric man. Tell him that's what I said. Anita, Eric may be all that you have said that he is. But my dear, he is the only choice that you have now. Who says? Who says? <laughs> my dear, there are many men out there, better men. <laughs> my dear, just take that off your mind. All that glitters is not gold. You know it. Think back. How many men have promised you marriage? Where are they now? Hmm? Tell me, where are they now, Anita? Anita, let's come back home. Let us come back home. Count them off your fingers. Eh? Emeka. Hillary. And then... Okay, Toronto. And even the ones that I never met. My dear, men are bound. But at the same time, they are scars. How long do you think you will live in this house? A time will come when you will no longer be welcome. Anita, reason. Reason, my dear. Some people are laughing at you. Some people are laughing at you. Including your so-called friend, Uju. You need to see what she said with her mouth the other day. You won't believe it. If she likes so, she can laugh from now till tomorrow. The fact still remains that I am not going back to Eric. Period.
said he wants to see you immediately. Brother, take it easy. This thing will be sorted out soon. Hmm? Yeah, well, thanks for your concern. Just that I want to be left alone for now. My son, you have to accept the fact that you are not a very easy person to live with. If we allow you to jettison this marriage now, when are you going to find another girl to marry? Eh? And how are we guaranteed that he's even going to marry any new one? Eh? Look, Eric, you are 40 years for goodness sake. I expected you to handle such a little issue with, with, with a lot more maturity. But Dad, I have tried my best, and it is simply impossible. I always thought that you people did not know yourselves well enough to double into marriage. But you said you knew what you were doing. Now look at you. Yes, look at you now. Look at the way he wants to bring disgrace to us after sharing cards to our friends and associates. Eh? Look what's going on here. What's really going on here? I said I don't want this thing anymore. Or don't I have a right to reject something I don't want? Look, you people are simply ignorant of what is going on in my house. Look, I won't be forced into this marriage. Will you shut up, my friend? Who forced you into this relationship in the first place? Who? Did we force you into it? Hey, now you have brought us into it and you want to back out. I don't hey. have the effrontery to, 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 to talk to us. Eric, you must apologize to your father and go back home to settle issues with your wife. That is what it takes to be a man. Dad, I'm sorry. Good. Um, Darling. Darling. Please, let's take things easy with him. You know, children of this generation, they take rash decisions over everything. I will make sure that I follow him up to ensure that he does everything we want him to do. Please. You better do that. Please. You better do that because if he tries what he's trying to do, I will take a drastic measure against him. Please, darling. Please, please. Okay. All right. Anita, come on, Anita. That's why I'm doing one. Anita, it's okay. Anita, I'm calling you. About Eric. No one is blaming you. No one is blaming you. All we are saying here, you cannot throw down an entire lifetime. Over moment of anger. At 33, you are not getting younger. I mean, if you expect your husband to be perfect, then you have to spend the rest of your life in dreamland. Yes. You yeah. must go back to your husband's house and work things out with him. It's just a week to your wedding. What do you want to say to the people? The wedding cannot hold a ah, My daughter, your mother and I have, you know, had our challenges from the beginning. And we still have plenty of them. Yes. But see where we are today. In fact, by next month, we should be 35 years in marriage. And we have a wonderful daughter to show for you. Yeah. My daughter, it's high time you started building your own life. Okay, you are no more young. Marriage is not that easy. You this, my dear. If I had run away from your father, I wouldn't have brought you to this world. Please, for the sake of this, my family, please. Right? I've heard. I've heard. Okay. 
but I'm not going to look for him. If he really wants me back, Eric should come here for me. I'm not begging him, am I? That is He's no right. problem. We can we fix right. that. We'll arrange that. That's no problem, eh? Uh -huh. That's my daughter. Mama, yes, it's me. Where are you? Please come fast. But that has packed his bag and I don't know where he's going. Okay, okay, all right, okay. Brother, where are you going to? Well, uh... Just a short trip, okay? Now I left some money in the room for your upkeep. Alright? I just need any money. Where, where exactly are you going to? Um I'm going to Abuja. I have a case there. Okay, look, I'm in a hurry, mostly right like now. Okay, okay. If you must go, why not at least wait and eat something? I'm not hungry, okay? No, you can't go on an empty stomach. Remember what you used to tell us. Don't go out on an empty stomach. Hmm? I'll be fast about it. Now hurry it up, okay? I'm traveling with this car. Okay, just leave it there. Leave there. Uh, Mama, I, uh, you may leave. Mama, um, I'm going to Abuja. I have a court case there. I'll be back. Uh... To be back when? I said to be back when? I'll be back next week. Besides, why all this interrogation? Uh, I see, Eric. You want to abandon us and your wedding, eh? It will not work out. It won't work out. Anyway, let me see how you will move this car today. Mama, look, I'm not abandoning anything. All I'm trying to say is that I... Don't tell me anything. Don't dare tell me anything. I am your mother. Before you make any move, I know about it. And by the way, who told you that running away will even solve this problem? Who's all this, Mama? What's, what's going on here? I'm not your little boy anymore. I said I'm traveling to Abuja. So what's all this fuss about? Look, Mama, I must leave right now. You're burning my time. Please, excuse me. Anyway, you have to kill me first before you leave this house today. You must kill me first. And if you dare force your way out of this house, you will come and meet my dead body in this house from wherever you have run to. Yes! How kind of wala is this? Says, how, how did you get to know that I was going to travel? Oh, I understand. You're part of this whole plan, right? Well, I'm going to go back into the house. 
But on one condition. I don't want to hear about this wedding anymore. As for you, I'll deal with you in my own way. My Lord, mm. I am glad that we all agree that the wedding must go on as planned. Yes. Mm. Yes. Or oh, does anybody have anything against that? My daughter has no problem. No, there's no objection. We have agreed that the wedding arrangements will go on as planned. Otherwise, our collective image will be dragged to the mud. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, there is no point in belaboring the issue. We have exhausted all that there is to, say, to be said in this matter. Yeah. And I hope this is going to be the last time we'll be called upon to settle minor quarrel between two adults. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Eric. You will be back here tomorrow to officially take your wife back to your house, okay? Mm? So that your wedding arrangements will resume in full force. I have informed my business partners and other friends. Are we need to storm this wedding in a big way? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> my love, I thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know these children, they think they will remain youth forever. Ah, they don't know that you and I were once. Yeah, yeah. Them. <laughs> now the day is gone. I'm going home. After all said and done. Of course, if I knew those containers were seized, I would have done something about it. But now that I know, I promise you. They will be released within one week. Oh, thank you so very much. I'm very grateful. Um, so how much is it going to cost him? How can it cost anything when you're involved, Chief? <laughs> one good turn deserves another. That's right. That's right. Thank you so very much. You know I can do anything for you. Yes, Chief. Thank you so much. You know I'm a very good friend. Definitely. I can do anything for you. Thank you very much. I know. I know. I love to see you. Thanks, Chief. Hey. Uh, who do we have here? <laughs> Hey, good day, my son. How are you? Fine, sir. Where are you coming from? I'm just coming from the house. Really? Yes, uh, but I, I'm on my way to some appointment. Ah. Okay, um, let me introduce to my friend. Uh, Bolaji, this is my son-in-law, Eric. Eric, this is Bolaji Shomolu, the Assistant Controller General of Customs. Nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure meeting mm -hmm. you, sir. And I congratulate both of you in advance. I will not miss your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I trust uh, you. Chief, yes. I know your daughter very well. Uh -huh. And from what I've seen, I believe God really made them for each other. <laughs> uh, and one other thing. I have a six months bouncing baby boy. I would like him to marry your daughter <laughs> when your wife is back to your, your new baby. Oh, okay. uh, and I know definitely she's going to be a pretty girl. Oh, thank you. What about if it's a boy? Oh, no. For my son's sake, it's going to be a girl. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, sir. I, yes. I must run along now. Um, I have an appointment to catch. Yes. Daddy, I'll see you later. later. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'll tell my wife about your proposal. <laughs> thank you. All right, have a nice day, sir. Thank you very much. So, Chief. All right, now. I'll see you. See you. Thank you so yes. much. Okay. Bye. Now the day is gone. I'm going home After all said and done You're the only one for me All seems fine Now that you are here To err is human And to forgive divine I will never Never, never, oh yeah, ever give up on you. Mm -hmm. I will never, 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 ever give up on you. I will never, I will never, never, ever, 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 ever give up on you. Never, 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 oh. ever give up on you. Wedding fever's gone We'll make a happy home Promise I'll be <laughs> Thank you.
I lost my brother the romantic person in him. Are you serious? Honestly. My dear, it's written all over you. I told him it was a nice idea, didn't we? Let's just say I was lying there. No, no, I don't know. Nah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, how are you? What's happening here? Where are you from? Are you all deaf and dumb? Can't you hear me? Where are you from? Uh, no, sir. We are Auntie uh, Anita's relatives, sir. Oh, I see. But I'm sure she didn't ask you to turn this place into a discotheque. We were just dancing, sir. Just dancing. Yes. We're just dancing. And look at how this place has, uh, has become. You see how you messed this whole place up? You were just, you, you, you were just dancing. But where is she? Where's Anita? Sir, we mean no disrespect, sir, but we were just dancing. I mean, what sort of embarrassment is this? I'm embarrassing you by talking in my own house. Are you mad? We are here to assist in the wedding, sir. I see we don't have our own houses. Look, you know what? You're a bunch of rascals. Do you have home training? Even if you're, even if you're here to assist in the wedding, does that give you license to turn this place into a discotheque? What kind, what kind of homes do you come from? Man, guys, I'm out of here. I can't stand these insults. He's right. I'm out too. say that he has kids somewhere. Anita. Anita. Why is there so much headache around Anita? Anita, 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 Anita! I'm fine. Have you met my cousins? Um, I went to pick the other one, but she refused to come. She likes to stay with my auntie all the time. Oh, that was very sensible of her. Right. Where are they? 
You won't believe what those rascals did to this house. I beg your pardon? What did you call them? Rude rascals. That's, that's the least way to describe them. They turned this place into a nightclub. They had the girls to insult me, challenge me. Really? Yeah. Where are they now? Well, they must be in their parents' houses. Eric, you sent away my relations that came to help us prepare for the wedding. For the records, I did not send them away. But judging by the way they conducted themselves, I doubt if I would have tolerated them. I can't believe this. Eric, I thought you had changed. Look, this has nothing to do with change. Look, those kids were just, just so impossible. They insulted you fine. But you would have waited for me to come at least before taking your... You sent away my relations, right? I did not send them away. Where are you coming from by this time of the night? From my parents' house. I hope no problem. Well, there will be no problem as long as you don't come back this late to this house again. I'm sorry, but past seven is not too late to enter the house. Well, this is my house and I determine that, okay? They look like Bessie. We want to feed the fish. Eh? She doesn't see you don't call it. Eh? How is it your business? I've been opened the gate. Let me go inside. My business is there fine. But I saw you. Madame Toxi, any force will come after seven. We cannot open this door for her. Uh -uh. Well, this is just quarter past seven. I was caught up in the traffic. I am sorry. Madame Simi cannot open the door and I won't open it. For any person. Okay. Just open the gates. Let me explain to her. Eh? Open with it. Open can explain what? Look. If be there is in a Sunday school, now you go. And if not be Sunday school, it will be seen as a second chance. Yes. Look, my dad tell you say I don't resign. I be look, this work where is it so? I the enjoy and well when you I see the enjoy and well well. Look, I be should you get anyone what you want to give me? Eh? Look. Now that day is over. Now that day is over. Night is coming down. Shadows of the evening. Please. Open this gate. Please try and take care of that stuff, okay? Yeah? Eric, see? I told you what you want to listen to. I told you what you want to listen. 
What's the matter? The lady you gave money for her cake is nowhere to be found. And it's just 48 hours to her wedding. People around her say they've not seen her for the past couple of days and they don't know her whereabouts. It's, that's not possible. Have you tried calling her? I don't have a number. Oh, Jesus, why, 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 why? What's going on again? You don't like to listen to me. That is what is going on. Listen to me sometimes. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Her phone is not going. <sighs> Damn, her phone is switched off. What's the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that she's absconded with our money. No, 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 no. My cousin will not abscond with my money because... Shit! I'm sure something is definitely wrong. What do we do now? What else? You have to pay more than what the person I brought asked for. That's the only thing to do. Pennywise, pound foolish. Oh, stop it! Huh? Stop it! Why, why do you like to blame me all the time? Nobody will have anticipated something like this will happen. But if we had given it to him, hey, it's enough, 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 enough. Just get somebody, get whoever it is to prepare the cake, please, please. This is not the time for this. Pennywise, Whatever, just please get whoever. Look, this is not the time for this. Yes, I beg you, just try and get this. Remember I was here some time ago, I made some deposit and promised to come to pay the balance before the wedding. I'm here to do just that. Ah. Okay, you paid deposit. Ah. We'll not see you since now. So people come, come pay their complete money. So my Oka carry the whole for he carry keep them go. <laughs> we'll not see you since you know come now. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, okay, this so my Oka carry for he give people carry go now. Uh, okay, if I could carry find another hall quick before time come day to this hall. Yes, sir. Are you guys mad? Are you guys mad? A hole I paid for? I have, I, have, I have a receipt to that effect. I paid for this hole. You've given it out? What's going on? I've printed invitation cards. I've invited people from here and there. Uh, it cannot be my no. fault now. If you guys okay. try this, I am going to have this place closed down permanently. Raise your boss. Please tell your boss where is he at? I want to pay for your enemy. Somebody else has taken it. Uh, lawyer. No, leave this handshake. What, 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 what kind of rubbish is going on here? Hey, hold on, pay for Somebody else come, come to take, take, take it over? I can assure you, lawyer. There's nothing like that. Then what's he saying? Bassi. Sir? Did I discuss this one with you today? Was he not the canopy that I talked about with you this morning? Okay, I pick no pick. Okay, see now, order for this country and for my village now. Okay, I pick. Lawyer, don't mind this food. Let's just go inside, please. Please. Okay, no pick. Okay, sorry, sir. Sorry for your, sorry for your miserable life. Now, I had to be this one. Man. Every every day, go shop for person. Come go here, come go there. Wrong go young son, come back. Say Wahara day, which kind of thing, eh? And this one person won't take time to a human being for this country. Now you had to hard go away. No be wish on my feet. Person know this kind of condition can't do for yeah, they suffer like this. Don't suffer away with Kai. You shout for me, I beg. I don't tire, I don't tire. We go village, go relax. Go relax, smoke, smoke them, go. No feel stay like that. No great. Listen, Amadi. Amadi, are you listening to me? How many curtains do you have right now? Amadi, I'm talking to you, listen. Now, what I'm saying is, I want those cartons of beer ready. How many do you have ready now? No, I want 80. 100. Okay, 100, 100 cartons. Now, what I'm telling you, Amadi, listen to me. Don't mess up my wedding. I want those cartons of beer by, by 5 p.m. today, I'm failing it. Do you hear me? Look, Amadi, if you mess up my wedding, I'm, I'm gonna deal with you. 5 p.m. <sighs> what about the champagne and the red wine? I'll take care of that myself. Yes, yes. Oh, God. Oh, damn. 
Is there anything? Is there anything we're forgetting? I think we've covered all areas except one. Which one? You know I'll be leaving for church from my parents' house. Of course I know that. Well, what you don't know is that you have to send a white helmet jeep to take me to church. White helmet jeep? Mm -hmm. Why? Eric, that's the compensation you promised. Since my local wedding gown is white, I want a white helmet jeep too much. That's not too much to ask of. Come on, my dear. Come on. <laughs> I know you must be joking, but this is not the time to, for this kind of jokes, okay? You see, you know me. I like good cars. I'm going to get you a sweet car that will take you to the wedding, okay? I'm dead serious, Eric. If you don't send a white home jeep to take me to church, you will not see me in church. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Anita, baby, I brought us uh, on my jeep. I'm a tricky caterpillar. Has finally come. <laughs> is, is this is wonderful. This is the greatest day in our lives. I thank God. Oh God be His name. Good God. <laughs> yeah. My darling, how are you? You welcome. Yes. Oh, God be uh, ah, that's my. My Elo. My Elo. How are you? We finally met. You? Yes. Oh, 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 the Lord is great. Oh, it's on uh, our side. It's <laughs> Exactly that. That's your welcome back. <laughs> so how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's my bride? Uh, she's going to be here anytime from now. Uh, I'll ride that train. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess it'll be nice for you to go sit in there. So um, yeah. So we can get started. Yeah. If it's true. Uh, almost. Let us go. All right. Great. Uh, so let's keep going. <laughs> Why is Anita not here yet? You know, she's just holding everybody to her I'm just sick of this whole thing. Well, what's going on? Eric. Yes, Eric. Dad. What's happening? You're supposed to have an inside in the next five, five minutes now. Why is the bride? I don't know what's going on, Dad. I've been calling Anita for almost, uh, almost an hour now, but... Eric, my daughter just called now. She said you promised to send the Homer Jeep, white Homer Jeep, to come and pick her up. White Homer Jeep? I thought she was joking. Joke? Joke. She said she's not coming without it. This is just... Wait, Anita, what's wrong? 
So what, what do we do now? Where, where, where can we get a jeep? Eric, I know where I can get a white Homer jeep from. Are you sure? Please, yes. Austin, go and please, please. please. All cost, eh? okay. please. While I go in and talk to the Reverend Father. All right. All right? Watch your dad. Hey. Okay, quickly. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Austin, quick, 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 quick. Hello, hello, hello. Somebody's calling. Hello? Ah, Chief Thomas. Oh, that's, that's good. Yes, yes. We are right now at the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reception venue has not changed. It still remains the same. But, uh, Chief, please, do you know where I can get uh, a white Homer Jeep right, right away? Oh, you have a black Navigator Jeep? Fine. Okay, fine, 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 Chief. Uh, can you send it with your driver to the church? Fine, right away. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely of you. Thank you very much, Chief. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh God, I need to walk kill somebody. Huh? Where's Austin now? Oh God. Jesus, what is happening? This is not happening again. Where is Austin? Austin, where are you? Oh God. You take Anita to be your lawful wedded wife in sickness and in health, in riches and in poverty, till death do you pass. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Anita, do you take Eric to be your lawful wedded husband in sickness and in health, in riches and in poverty, till death do you pass? Yes, I do. Can I have your wedding rings? Father, I is my best friend, and it's not here at the moment. How could you have come to church without your wedding ring? Look, Father, it's complicated. Um, but can I call him? Please, go ahead and call him fast. Yes, yes, Austin, where are you? That far? Yes, please. Um, look, I need the rings right away. Yes, please, uh, enter a bag. Good, thank you. Father, he'll be here shortly. Welcome. Why is he keeping us waiting? Why did he even go out with the rings in the first place? You just shut up. Shut up, it's all your fault. Don't you? Why you just shut up? Don't, don't do that. Don't shut up. Repeat after me. Anita. Anita. 
take this ring as a token of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring as a token of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a token of my love and fidelity. As a token of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Son. Eric, you may not kiss your wife. We just came back from Obudukato Ranch. One week of honeymoon is enough. Besides, I'm losing my clients. Okay? Are you by any chance suggesting that we won't go to London again? Yes, my dear. See, I'm about losing a sizable number of my clients because of the wedding. You know how much money we spent already. Okay? I think we need to recoup the money we spent instead of incurring more bills. I cannot believe they are giving such excuses because you don't want to have a, a proper honeymoon. Are you the only lawyer who has wedded? Or are you the only person who has done a society wedding? Am I expected to answer those questions? Anyway, I don't have more money to throw around all in the name of honeymoon. It's so unromantic. God forbid. Listen, what I will not take from you is an insult. It is not too late. You can go out there and find yourself a, a romantic man to marry. Okay? Let's respect ourselves. I'm going to the office. We need to earn a living, please. So romantic. your auntie. What do you want here? Have you finished squandering the money you defrauded my husband and I without honoring our contract? Auntie, I was sick for some days. Eh? Unconscious and almost died. I was rushed to the village for local treatment. I sent my younger brother to you to explain everything to your husband. Explain what, Rebecca? Rebecca, explain what? After you nearly ruined my wedding, explain what? You're nothing but a cheap thief. Ah. See, I'm not a thief. I spent the whole money at the hospital. Anyway, you can keep the money since that is all you're worth. But let me warn you, Rebecca, I don't ever want to see you anywhere near my compound again. Ah. Do you understand me? And see, that's what comes to death. Please, I beg of you, I'll refund your money. Get out of my house. Auntie. Please, I beg of I you. said, leave my house. Are you back? Are you back? Ma'am. It does not come to this, Auntie. Take this cheap thief out of this place. Madam. Madam. It does Madame. not come to that. Madam. Go. Madam. Adelie. 
Are you back? Do you love your job? Yes, ma'am. Good. Don't ever let that lady into this compound again. Have you heard me? Yes, ma'am. Good. Open the gate. Rebecca, why are you crying? Your wife just called me a thief. What? What for? Okay, go back into the house. I will sort this out, okay? No. I'm not going back into that house. Never. What's the matter? I've been seriously sick. It was God Almighty who saved my life. But not to worry. I'll pay you the money. All of it. Come, 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 Rebecca. Oh, please. Rebecca, come back here. Rebecca. Rebecca! Rebecca! Come back here! Open that gate! Listen, you had no right harassing my cousin the way you did. Her explanations were good enough for me. Well, they were not good enough for me. Look, it's my money that God lost here, and not yours! Eric, stop defending her! She's a bloody thief, and I don't want to see her in this house again, simple. Oh, I see. It is not your game plan to chase away all my relations from this house. You first of all started with joy, and I kept quiet. Will you listen to me? If you ever, ever try harassing any member of my family again, I'll have you thrown out before you know what hit you. Come out straight, Eric! Come out straight, okay? If you're tired of me already, say it. I'll gladly go. In my father's house, there are so many big rooms. Is that so? That is so. Then you better start thinking of going back to your father's house because I will not tolerate, and I mean I will not tolerate this stubbornness from you. And I will not tolerate any more wickedness and silly harassments from you. You call me silly? Yes, I did. You still want silly on me, Anita? Yes, I did. Well, this is the height of it. This is the height of this marriage. And I'm telling you, I'll show you how it is to be silly. Do your boss, okay? Do your boss. I mean, we'll take a side of it. I'll show you what silly is. Can you see the boy? Mess with me. You will listen. Come mess with me. I know all this rubbish. Eric, please stop I'm... throwing my things away. Then get up. Make sure you get out of my house. Please. I don't ever want to see you Who again. Who wants to see you again? You're nothing but a sadist and a difficult fool. I was only trying to manage if you don't know. It's your father that you will manage. You don't ever talk about my father like that again. I will not only insult your father, I will insult your mother. Waka! Waka you too! Shake it! What's up? Uh, what are we? Oh, beat me! She you want to beat me? Beat now! Somebody else kill my friend. Get out! Get out! I am going. Yes, go. Don't come begging me. <laughs> don't come begging me! Idiot. That will be on your life. Get out! You die. Are you back? You will die a miserable man. You will die a miserable, lonely fool. Yes, I rather die than be with you. What's going on here? Eric. Sister Anita. Good afternoon, Father. How are you, Eric? Anyway, I was in your neighborhood, so I decided to stop by and see how people are faring. Please come go inside, please. From what both of you told me, I, I, I don't see anything tangible or serious to make you people wanting to part ways. Actually, it's not unusual or abnormal to see or have couples have conflicts. What is marriage all about? Huh? 
marriage is about tolerance, understanding, caring, sharing, and above all, love. Love covers multitude of sins. That is why our Heavenly Father established the institution of marriage on the foundation of love. Even the animals understand the value of tolerance and understanding. Take a look at the dogs when they play. You fall for me, I fall for you. My dear Eric, remember what you told me some time ago in the office, how much you love your wife with passion. Sister Anita, look down deep into your heart. You will tell yourself the truth that you love this man without compromising. My Bible made me to understand that husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church, that he gave his life for the church. And wife, submit to your husband as of the Lord. Right now, I want both of you to apologize to one another and forgive one another too. Come on, go and apologize to each other. Don't allow the devil to come in between now. This is an opportunity. I'm sorry. I really am. If I go, I'd like to also have a word of prayer. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will not die, and 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 thy will not die, of the family. You see, God knows how to pour cold water on us when our bodies get very hot. Yes, For our children here, initially it was like a mission impossible. Mm -hmm. But God came in and took care of the situation. Yeah. And look at the result of that job. <laughs> a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> You see, the Almighty works in mysterious ways. And exactly, you know, I have a pet name for my grandchild. His name shall be Udoka. Hey. Peace reigns. <laughs> <laughs> and from today onward, mm. we shall see more joy in this house. Amen. Amen. We shall see more peace in this house. Amen. Amen. And we shall see more happiness in abundance in this house. Amen. Amen. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
I'm going home after all said and done.